Hello, this is a Blender tutorial, and um, in, this, in this tutorial, um, I'll be showing you how to add a bunch of images into the Blender sequence editor, then uh, put them all together to make them into a movie, and then the next tutorial will be about adding sound. Um, okay, this video, um, I'll be doing this because a friend requested it, and um, uh, it's more used for, well, I'm going to use it for stop motion, like Lego stop motion pictures that you take from cameras. Okay, um, this tutorial was mostly aimed to complete, complete beginners, guys who don't know anything about Blender. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So over here is the Blender home screen, you don't have to worry about this, we're not going to really touch this at all. What, I, what you just want to do is go up to over here where it says default, left click on it, go down to video editing and left click on that. Okay, here we go. This is the video editor in Blender over here. In this black is where the preview screen is. This will be wh where all our videos and all our pictures will appear. And over here is uh, well, this is where we put all the videos in. This is like uh, the editor. This is a timeline. If you check over here, it's numbers number 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. These are just frames 10 frames, 20 frames, 30 frames. This is the current frame you're on right now, uh, number 48, no, not 47. This is uh, how many frames are in this video specifically, I can move it up and down as well, and also the start frames I can move it up and down. Just gonna keep it keep on zero for now. Over here it's just like an, an advanced version of the timeline, but it's fine, we're not gonna worry about that. Okay, let's begin. So I'm gonna press shift plus A. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it shift, I'm press A and then this little window comes up. I'm gonna go to image. So now I'm gonna go so look in your computer and see where all the images are for this Lego animation or oh, doesn't have to be Lego animation for this animation you made. Um, I have a bunch of images under here, under here, and here are all my images. I got about 107 in total. Um, just select all of them. Let's press A on the keyboard, and there we go. All selected. Let's press Enter. Okay, so all the pictures has been added, and here we go inside the timeline. Um, okay, so it is a bit laggy now, but that's totally fine. I'll be fixed just now. I'll fix it just now. Don't worry, it's totally fine. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is your Lego animation at the moment. That's all we're going to do here. We're just going to press up, back up. We can press over here, go back to default. Now I'm just going to drag this window out just to make it larger. Okay, so it's going to do about three things over here. First, this is where go go under output. Um, this is window is it open? Just press this arrow to expand it. You want to press this little file over here. This will select the. Sorry, my cat's in the background. This will select the location where your video will be saved. So I'm just going to call this video. And um, you don't have to worry about any of these settings. Um, just over here there's PNG. I'm going to change to XVID or every raw. Um, I'm just changing for XVID, you can do every raw as well. What's happening now is while it's on P PNG that basically when at the end of the render you will not, if you look at the destination where your video has been saved, there will be no video, it'll just be a collection of um, pictures. So I'm just going to go to Xvid, so now it's a video. That's all we're going to do, there's no sound added to it, it's just simply a bunch of pictures which has been added together, and now I'm going to press animate. And you'll see the um, animation begin. Okay, I'll be back now now. And I am back. Okay, there's two things I forgot to mention. Uh, number one is that um, when you rendered this, you probably saw this black screen up here. Just to fix that, you just want to go to over here, these frames, you want to just see where exactly does your video end. Mine ends at uh, frame 106. I'm we'll simply putting 106. So now this, it will only render 106 frames, which is the exact amount of my video. And um, yeah, that, that will fix that little issue. And number two, if you go back to default, if you want your video to play faster than just 24 frames per second, you can go up to 60, you can say customs, you can put any number in there you like. And that's how many frames per second your video will play at. Just for people who don't know, frames per second stands for, well, frames per second. Um, it's how many pictures play in each second. So 24 frames per second means there'll be 24 images running across the screen in one second. Um, I'm going to keep mine at 24. I like it on 24. I actually recommend everyone to keep it on 24 who's making leg animations. There's no need to go to 25 and up. Uh, so I'm keeping on that and press render again. 